Um, yeah, I thought we withstood a lot of uh, pressure in the first half, like every metric that you look at, possession and uh, field position. Like we had to contend with a fair bit, so I'm pretty content with uh, our attitude. Last time we came here, we probably didn't have that, and we withstood very similar first half. Um, you know, I think at one stage it was without throwing a, a heap of stats at you, but I think they were about 23 sets, 12 or 14 or something like that. So it's a lot of work that you've got to go through, but a lot of our guys stuck at it um, to have a try piece in the second half, and theirs was on the last play off a kick, so yeah. There's some stuff there that we need to get better at, in particular our attack, but that will come. Um, but there's, there's a lot to like about that performance with uh, some personnel out. Did you feel like you were right back in at half time after the last five minutes of that? Yeah, I just, I just thought we kept, we kept trying, you know, we kept trying really hard, and I thought that we, we were starting to get on top there leading into the break. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, the, the, the try after half time off the kick. Um, you know, that, that sort of took a little bit of wind out of our sail, but to the boys' credit, they, uh, they fought hard to get that back and we wrestled back some momentum towards the back end of the game. And from a uh, playing point of view, to those intensity photos, what do you feel like you the whole time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought they controlled the second half um, in terms of field position for, I'd say, majority of it. And then when we got our opportunities, we probably didn't make the most of them. What did the boys do to make it tough for you? Uh, just one field position, just kicked corners. Um, I thought, I don't know how long the arm wrestle was, but I, th I think both teams were going at it for a bit there. And then, um, you know, we, we had our opportunities in the second half in the back end there, but I don't think we were good enough. I don't think they were, we just weren't, we didn't, we didn't uh, handle that period very well. Yep, all of that, what you just said then, yeah. Um, I thought Anari was exceptional, actually. I thought he he done a really good job. Bradman had 26 carries. So, uh, you know, they peppered, as they did last year, they peppered our, uh, our left edge. Um, and I thought both of those guys, you know, with Bradman carrying the ball 26 times and, and Anari, I thought they were great. But, yeah, to answer your question, you know, we created a couple of opportunities. This guy was in the thick of nearly all of those, but... Um, yeah, it wasn't to be in there. It's a place where we're up to shut that chance down. Yeah, that's why he's the player he is. That's why it's good job he's got him back in the sport. Ken, what was it like for you out there? It felt like at times you and Roger were trying to upstage each other what you were producing at full length. Oh, that's, that's nice. I'll take that. Um, yeah, obviously, Roger's, uh, I said before the game, he's elite, has been for many years. Uh, he's an athlete, he's exciting to watch. Um, second half, like I said, they won field position, so we didn't probably earn the right to play expansive footy. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I tried to make as many opportunities as I could. And from a look at numbers, it seemed like twice a result, you a pretty massive impact out there, still good on this performance. Yeah, outstanding, does it every week, does it every day. Um, the way he trains, um, what he puts his body through daily, that's no fluke. I think I said this pre-game, there's no fluke that Frizz comes up with big moments in games um, because he takes himself to those moments daily in our training. So, um, yeah, he's, he's exceptional. He's, you know, a great leader for this, for this club, but a good symbol of any young bloke, uh, certainly at our club, on how you need to act and behave daily in training to play this sport and put yourself in great moments. Oh, he's, he's done that for us since the day he got to Newcastle and um, yeah, like Coach said, he does it every day. He's, he'll be the first one in there tomorrow or whenever we get back doing extras. Um, he's, he's a leader. He's awesome for me. He's one of those guys that um, I definitely look up to and lean, lean on. Um, off the field and on the field, so yeah, he's massive for us. Thanks, guys.